Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. He's good. Brother Doug, he's good to us. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Best friend we'll ever have, Brother Van. We ain't got to go looking for another friend like him. You ain't going to find one no way. Amen. Not like him. Amen. Brother Andy, you ain't going to find one better than the Lord. Amen. There's none like him in all the earth, Brother Rick. We can look high and low and search. Amen. But we ain't going to find nobody that'll be there like he'll be there. Hallelujah. A friend. Amen. That'll stick closer than a brother. Amen. Hallelujah. That's pretty close, Brother Doug. Amen. As much as the brethren Amen. Love one another. We better. Hey, if we plan on making it, we got to love one another. Amen. With that kind of love, Brother Van, but you ain't going to find none that'll stick with you no matter what but him. He'll do it. Amen. We may let each other down. Amen. But he won't. He'll be there when you can't be there for me. Brother Doug, he'll be there for you when I can't be there. Oh, hallelujah. I'm glad. I've got Jesus on my mind. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I'd say Samson had him on his mind when he got that jawbone in his hand. He knew then, I need the Lord. Hallelujah. He picked up the gates of that city and carried them off. I say the Lord was on his mind. He knew. He got me and kept about. I need the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm glad Jesus and the Lord is always there. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. When that young lion roared against Samson, he needed the Lord. Amen. You know what he could tell you, brother? Amen, brother Rick. Even when he forsook the Lord and departed from his ways, and broke every vow that he had. He found out when he prayed that time when they had his eyes gouged out. And there he was, a man working on him and making sport of him, mocking him, a man. Philistines were, but he found out when he prayed, Lord, hey man, remember me this one more time. Avenge me of mine eyes, Lord. Hey man, even when Samson had done wrong, Brother Ricky found out, hey man, the Lord will be there. Hallelujah. When nobody else can do it, hey man, the Lord will be there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He'll be there. Amen. He'll never leave us nor forsake us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He can't break his word. He's not a man that he should lie. He can't break the word. He said, I'll be with you. But really the question is, will you be with me? I'll stick with you through thick and thin. Amen. Through your ups and downs. I'm God. I am the Lord. I will be there for you. And I will be there with you. Amen. And in you. But will you continue with me? Hallelujah. Hey man, many in John 6 wouldn't do it. You get down about that 66 verse, many of his disciples walk with him no more. Hey man, they saw what he'd done. He just fed the multitude. I mean, feed 5,000 just men, not including no women or children there. It's untold how many he really might have fed that day. They saw him do it and they followed him. But hey man, when, it, when, it, when they found out, Brother Van, it's going to cost me something to follow him. Hey man, many of them said, no. Nah. I don't believe I'll do that. And many of them followed him no more. I want to go on with him. Yeah, huh? When the fishes run out, Brother Van, we've been in this a little while. When the loaves run out, many of them say, I'm done with him. He must be done with me. He ain't giving me no more free meals. Amen. The Lord must not be with me no more. That's the devil talking right there. Come on now, brother. It'll rain on the just and the unjust. But God will be right there. I said, but God will always be there. Hallelujah. Amen. He'll be there. He'll be there. He'll be there. Some way, shape, form, or fashion, God is there in the lives of his people. Ha! He don't take off. He don't go off on a journey somewhere. Amen. Elijah the prophet began to mock them. Amen. On top of Mount Carmel. Them old false prophets of Baal. Where's your God at? You've been calling for him. You've been praying to him. You've been serving him. You've cut yourself. you got blood running down on your altar. And where is Baal? Where's your God at when you need him? He got mocking him after a while, Brother Van. Maybe he's off. Maybe he's sleeping. Maybe he's off on some long journey. Huh? Not our God. 
Elijah and, and all of them there that day found out. Hey, Amen. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he wasn't off on no journey. Oh, no, brother. He wasn't off on no journey. He's where he's always been. Stephen can tell you where he was. They were trying to stone him to death. They were gnawing on Stephen. Amen. With their teeth. Amen. Why? Amen. Because he told them the truth. But you know what Stephen found out? God ain't off somewhere. Amen. He's right there. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. He's right there. He saw him standing at the right hand of the Father. He ain't going to leave us. He ain't going to forsake us. He said, I'm going to go with you all the way to the end. End of the world. End of my life. End of my days. End of my journey. God's going to be right there. But Ricky's going to be right there. You count on him being there. You drive down the road in that truck, God's in that truck. Huh? We ain't never alone. We think we're alone. We'll say we're alone. But we ain't really alone if you belong to God. Amen, brother. When he washed us in the blood, he didn't stop right there. Amen. That was only the beginning of the work. He wasn't done right there. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus said, I'm going away to prepare your place. Amen. That where I am, there you may be also. Oh, glory to God, brother. But he let them know I'm going to pray. He's going to send you another comforter. And he may be with you. And in you, thank God. I got him in me. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 But man, he washed us. He cleansed us from our sin and our wickedness and our filthy ways. But he said, I'm going to take myself and just put it inside of you. Amen. Woo, hallelujah to God. Hey, I'm going to take my spirit and I'm going to put it inside of you. Amen. Hey, nobody else can do that but the Lord like that. No, the devil can get in you. He'll get in you, but he'll fill you with a bunch of more wicked stuff than what you could ever imagine. But the Lord said, when I get in there, I'm going to do a good work inside of you. Hey, man, he ain't just going to up and take off. He's going to be right there. I'm glad he is. Hey, man, 1 Samuel. If you got your Bible, 1 Samuel chapter 4. Hey, man, felt the Lord right here in this. Hey, man, thank God. 1 Samuel chapter 4. Hallelujah. Verse 1. Hey, man, the word and the word of Samuel came to all Israel. Now Israel went out against the Philistines to battle, Brother Van. It's a, hey man, a familiar tale. Many times Israel went to war with the Philistines and vice versa and, and pitched beside, hey man, Ebenezer and the Philistines pitched in Aphek. And the Philistines in verse 2 put themselves in array against Israel. Brother Doug, that's what the enemy's doing right now. He's setting everything up. Hey man, all these nations, hey man, all, hey man, these evil and wicked men, seducers, waxing worse and worse. He's getting them all together against God's people in the last days. And the Philistines put themselves in array against Israel. Amen. And when they joined the battle, Israel, notice this, was smitten. Amen. Before the Philistines. They were, just, they were defeated there, Brother Van. And they slew of the army in the field about 4,000 men. That's a, that's a tough loss, Brother Rick. If you're on the Israelite side, you just lost 4,000 comrades. 4,000 of your brethren had fallen. Amen. That's bad. Verse 3, and when the people were coming to the camp, the elders of Israel said... Wherefore hath the Lord smitten us today before the Philistines? Asking a question there. Let us fetch the ark. They knew there was a problem. So they said, let us fetch the ark of the covenant of the Lord out of Shiloh unto us. That when it cometh among us, it it may save us. Notice how the, they word this here, Brother Van. There's a problem right here. If we'll get a hold of this early right here in the story, Brother, amen, Brother Doug, we'll find out it. Amen. They were looking to the ark. Well, they should have been looking at the one. Oh, hallelujah. They should have been looking at the one, Brother, that was greater than the ark. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. It may save us out of the hand our enemies. So the people sent to Shiloh, amen, that they might bring from thence the ark of the covenant of the Lord of hosts which dwelleth between the cherubims. And the two sons Eli, Hophni, and Phinehas, amen, were there with the ark of the covenant of God. And when the ark of the covenant of the Lord came 
the camp. All Israel shouted with a great shout. Amen. So that the earth rang again. Boy, it'd be good if America could get back to that. And when the Philistines in verse 6 heard the noise of the shout, they said, Amen, what meaneth the noise of this great shout in the camp of the Hebrews? And they understood that the ark of the Lord was come into the camp. And notice verse 7. And the Philistines were afraid. They had a right to be. Amen. For they said, God has come into the camp. And they said, Whoa, I'm to us. For there hath not been such a thing. Amen. Heretofore. Woe unto us. Who shall deliver us out of the hand of these mighty gods? Amen. These are the gods that spoke the Egyptians with all the plagues in the wilderness. But notice verse 9. There's a turn in the camp of the Philistines right here. Verse 9. Amen. They said, be strong and quit yourselves like men. In other words, rise up, be a man and fight. Yeah. Oh, you Philistines, that you be not servants unto the Hebrews as they have been to you. Quit yourselves like men. Hey, man, and fight. And finally, verse 10, and the Philistines fought, and Israel was smitten. The camp, hey, man, had the ark, but yet they were still smitten. And they fled every man, talking of the Israelites, into his tent. There was a very great slaughter, for there fell of Israel 30,000 footmen. I've come to preach with the Lord's help today. Hey man, on it's time to fight just a little bit harder. Hey man, it's time to fight. Hey man, just a little bit harder. Hey man, we go in our story tonight. Hey man, today, brother Rick. Hey man, in the first battle, hey man, they lose four thousand men, and no doubt, hey man, there's weeping and crying, and hey man, they suffer defeat, and ain't the elders knew, brother Van. Hey man, we've got to do something to turn this thing around. We can't afford to keep losing men. We can't afford to keep being put down. We've got to do something about this. And them elders knew, brother Doug. Amen. I know what we can do. I know what's missing. Amen. Hallelujah. The ark of the covenant of the Lord. We need his presence back. They have that part right. Amen. Hallelujah. They were living in sin. Many of them were wicked at this point. Amen. Even, amen, Eli's boys, Hophni and Phinehas, amen, were not righteous, but they stayed in office. Eli addressed them, but he never sat them down. Come on now. Amen, brother. God ain't never going to bless sin. God ain't going to give you a victory if you're not living right. Come on now. Amen. Here we find. Amen. They say if we get the ark in here, amen, we'll have victory. you got to have the God of the ark. Hey, oh, hallelujah to God. To the Philistines, it might have just been a piece of furniture. Amen. It might have got that way in the heart of the Israelites as well. What you need is bigger than the ark. What you need is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You need the God of battle. Hallelujah. Amen. But notice in our story, they bring that ark in. And no doubt, brother, man, they probably felt like David when he brought that ark back. We got God now. We're going to win. We're going to whip them good. We're going to defeat them. We're going to bring them down. We ain't losing 4,000 more today. Now, brother, what they found out was, amen, when they brought that ark in, the Philistines got wind of it. And man, they got a woe unto us spirit on them. And if Israel would have been in a good place with God, they would have been. They would have found out woe unto us. God would have slaughtered every one of them. Amen. But hallelujah. But notice in our story, there was a spirit that got inside the enemy's camp. Amen. That we say, amen, that they realize they've got the Ark of the Covenant. Amen. We know what God has done in the past. We see what he done to Pharaoh. We see what he done to the plagues that fell. Amen. But thank God, brother Van. Amen. Hallelujah. For the past. Amen. But all of a sudden, a spirit got inside the Philistine army. I said, we got to stand up. Amen. And fight like men. That's the enemy talking. And I've got that on my soul, brother Doug. It's time God's people rise up and fight on a little bit harder. We ain't going to take defeat. Amen. We're getting up and we're fighting on. Hallelujah. Amen. A spirit got on them. And that Philistine camp said, it's time we rise up and fight a little bit harder. They got the ark. 
They got their God that showed up. But I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're not going to lay down. We're going to fight that much harder. And that's exactly what they done. What if that spirit that the Philistines had, not even having the spirit of God in them, but what if that spirit fell inside the church again? We're just going to fight that much harder. This one may have fell. This one might be down. Our nation's forsaken God. Come on now. The ball stadiums are full. The church houses are empty. And the church houses that are full, amen, it's false doctrine to begin with. Come on now. Amen. And many are saying, what's the use? Amen. What's the point? I say, Gideon, get up. I say, Samson, get up. I say, David, get up. I say, Peter, get up. And fight. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Sometimes the best thing we can do is dig down a little bit deeper and fight, Sister Henrietta, just a little bit harder. We see in our nation what's going on. Huh? We know the signs of what Jesus said would come before his appearing. Nation rising against nation. They're doing that now. Kingdom against kingdom. Sure doing it now. Earthquakes in divers places. Amen. They've estimated before I walked in here, 28,000 dead. Just one earthquake. 28,000 souls. How many went to heaven? We don't know. God knows. But if they wasn't ready to have one, I went to hell. That's awful. Come on now. All these things are coming to pass. Just like the good book said it would. It ain't no time to get weary and well doing now. Come on now. No, sir. This ain't no time to fold it up and say, I'm going to the house. Oh, no. Oh, brother. If I got to feel that brother van in my soul, there's something ought to be inside the church. Say, rise up and fight. Rise up and pray. Rise up and sing. Rise up and preach. Glory to God. Stand up and fight. Hallelujah. Fight, he said. Glory to God. Be strong. Amen. And fight like men. Oh, you Philistines. Be not the servants of the Hebrews. Get up and fight. Come on. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh. Praise God. Woo. Hallelujah. First Timothy 1 and 8. Amen, Paul. Verse 18, rather, First Timothy 1, 18. Amen, Brother Van. Paul told Timothy this charge. Amen, I commit unto thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecies which went before on thee, that thou by them mightest war a good warfare. Paul was telling Timothy exactly what the Philistine leaders were telling their men. Rise up and fight. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Oh, hallelujah to God. It's time God's people rise up and fight harder. Amen. Amen, Brother Van. Hallelujah. Philistine said, we ain't going to take this land down. I like to say that's what the Israelites were saying. They should have been repenting. You're going to go get that ark. That's a holy thing. you got to get sin out of your heart before you can touch the holy things. They weren't willing to do that. We need him because we need victory. Well, that's right. I agree. But if you ain't got victory in here, it ain't going to do you no good to have a Bible and an ark and uh, a Goliath sword or any other weapon. It ain't going to do you no good to have a sling and five smooth stones, jawbone of a dog. It ain't going to do you no good if God's anointing ain't in here. God's calls ain't in here. If I'm not living for him, brother, I can bring in 15 arcs. But if I'm not living the way God can be pleased, he ain't going to help me none. And the Philistines said, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Woo. Hey, man, we're going to rise up. We're going to fight harder. And when they determined to do that very thing, they didn't just slaughter 4,000. This time we took 30,000. You telling me the enemy can do that? What could the church do? Huh? Upon this rock, I'll build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. 
Oh, behold, I give unto thee. He told Peter that right after that. The next, behold, I give unto thee the keys of the kingdom. Whatever you bind down here, it's going to be bound up there. Whatever you loose here, that's going to be loosed up there. You mean to tell me that there's a God in Israel that can tell his king like David, you just sit here and be quiet and you listen for the sound of the rustling. When you hear them mulberry trees, that rustling going on, then you'll know. You'll know. Amen. We ain't waiting on no rustling of no mulberry trees today. We done had Pentecost. We done been given the Holy Ghost. Amen. He said, you go into all the world and preach the gospel. You lay hands on the set. We don't need to wait on that. He's all oh my God. He already gave it. Cast out devils in my name. Prophesy in my name. Baptize them in my name. Oh, glory to God. It's time for the van the church rise up and say, I'm willing to fight. Lord, just a little bit harder. In a time where many are trying to slow down and fight less, we need to be fighting more. There's people that recognize that, but they're not willing to pay the price. But we that understand what is on the line here, my boy's salvation's on the line. My daughter's salvation's on the line. My grandchildren and your people, your people, their, their, their soul. It's on the line in this thing. It ain't time for us to step back. Some are saying, well, things are going to be the way they are. Sure they are. What that book said is exactly the way it's going to be. He'll say, well, it's dark. And ain't nothing you can do about it now and on and on. Doom and gloom. They want to talk. Go out on and talk it. And they're doing that right in the church house. But I'd just soon to fight than to lay down and quit. Huh? I'd just soon go on and preach another message than quit. I just soon go back to the altar one more time than quit. The Philistines were saying, I understand what they've done. Israel lost 4,000, and now they've got to step it up. We've lost more than 4,000 souls in America, I guarantee you. COVID, we dropped a lot of thousands in the church house, out of the church house. We lost a lot of souls. Pastors resigning. Families quitting. And then some of them have never made their way back. Somebody somewhere quit fighting. And the Philistines said, they might have upped the ante bringing in the ark. But I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to be strong and stand up and fight. Whew. Boy, they ought to be something. Just reach down in a man when he sees the way our nation's going. and Sees a spy balloon flying overhead in our country. Here's about Iran with all these weapons underground that supposedly nobody knew about. We're going to take it all against Israel. There ought to be something rise up saying, I know Messiah is coming again. My king is about to come. And if he finds me in a place where I've quit and thrown in the towel, I'm not going to hear him say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. Now I'm going to make you ruler over many. If I don't keep fighting, you don't keep fighting. You don't keep fighting. We ain't going to hear that. The Philistines said, we're going to fight on. We're going to dig a little bit deeper. And brother, when they did, this time, 30,000 fell. And it showed Israel, just because you bring the ark, just because you carry a Bible and say, I'm a preacher, just because you rise up with a name like some of them got now, apostle, prophet, if the God of Israel ain't in you, you ain't no real prophet. And you ain't no real apostle. Ah, come on now. Hallelujah. they got to be something inside of here, Brother Van, that says I'm willing to do what I need to do to fight this good fight of faith because i got to make it home after a while. Judges chapter 1, Jerusalem gets captured. Brother Rick here again. Hey, man, they, the children of Judah had fought against Jerusalem and taken it. Hey, man, smitten it with the edge of the sword, set the city on fire. I mean, there's all kind of things going on. Hey, man, in Judges chapter 1, I mean, brother, I mean, I'm telling you, 
Amen. Caleb and Amen. You get to reading about all this war and all this fighting that went on. Israel knew what it was to be at war. Amen. And to be Amen to fight. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But Caleb had something. Amen. In his mind and in his heart. Amen. Hallelujah to God. And Judah said in verse 3 of Judges 1, Judah said unto Simeon, his brother, come up with me. Amen. Into my lot that we may fight against the Canaanites. And likewise, amen, I will go with thee into thy lot. Amen. In other words, I'm going to help you fight. You help me fight. You help me beat these Canaanites. You help me whip them. Get my lot. Get my territory. I'm going to go fight with you. You help me now. I'm going to help you. Amen. But I feel like that's the way it ought to be. But the van, you help me. I'll help you. I'll help you. You help me. That's the way it ought to be. Amen. Hallelujah. God. Amen. God meant his people to fight together, not against one another. Amen, brother. To walk in the battle and fight together. I'm on your side. You're on my side. Come on, Simeon. Let's go fight and take the land. Oh, glory to God. Amen. I feel like preaching today. Amen. It's time to rise up and fight. Hallelujah. Fight a little bit harder. Amen. And Judah went up in verse 4, and the Lord delivered the Canaanites, not just them, but the Perizzites, amen, into their hand. And they slew of them in Bezek 10,000 men. Amen. It's untelling what God would do if we'd come together. Amen. Amen. That's what Paul was getting at. That's what Paul was trying to get at when he said, you got to talk about when one rejoices, we all should rejoice. Yes. One's sick, we're all sick. One's down, we're all down. One's yes. defeated, we all should be defeated. Yes. It's not much like that no more. No. But that's the way they intended it to be. God intended it to be that way. Yes. Brother Doug, if you ain't doing good, I've got to slow down long enough to realize it and fight with you, get you back in the battle. Hey, man, that's exactly what's going on in Judges chapter 1. I need my people to come together, amen, and fight together and war against the kingdom of darkness. Because if we be honest tonight, we're surrounded by it on every side. Sister Henry, we're surrounded by darkness every day. Voices that come against us and spirit of the enemy trying us, and testing us, going to war with us. But are we at war with the enemy? If you could, if you could interview Lucifer today and say, what do you think about God's people? Just give me, just give me a sentence. What do you think about God's people? We'd be shocked at the hatred, Brother Rick, that he has for me and you. Can we really afford to be warned against one another? No. Ain't no way. It's time that me and you came together and fight a little bit harder together. Hallelujah. Amen. Come fight with me. Help me fight my, defeat my enemies. I'm going to go with you and help you defeat yours. But Anthony, if we would do that, we'd be shocked at what God would do. It's time, saints of God, with time running short on us, it's time that me and you realize we've got to fight that much harder. We're not quitting. We're not giving in. But we're going to fight that much harder. Hey, man, Brother Van, I feel like making an altar call. If that's all right. Hey, man, uh, this altar is open in the house of God. I know normally I'd call Sir Tammy down and come on this piano. But we don't always have to have music. Somebody feels like coming, they can come. But this altar is open in the house of God. If you need to be fighting a little bit harder than what you are, come on right now, fall in this altar. Let's pray. Come on. Let's fall in here together and lay hands one on another. Hallelujah. Let's pray God strengthen us that we can fight. Come on, saints. Come on in this altar. Fall in here today. Ask God to help us in this meeting. Help us in our life to fight. Hallelujah. Fight a little bit harder. A little bit stronger. Oh, Jesus. Lord, and we'll stand with them, Lord, and Lord, we'll show them that there's hope in you, Lord, 
Help us, God, that we'll uplift them, God, and we'll stand in there, Lord, with them in their battle, Lord, as they stood with us in our battle, Lord. Help us to be strong, Lord. Help us to be faithful, Lord, thank God. Help us, Lord, to guard our lives, Lord, to guard our hearts, Lord, to guard our minds, Lord, thank God. Lord, against the things that we may plant in our souls, Lord, thank God. And Lord, thoughts, Lord, thank God, and seeds of doubt and fear. And Seems, Lord, of unbelief, Lord, thank God. Help us, Lord, to weed out our gardens of our hearts, Lord, thank God. Lord, that we may fight this good fight of faith, Lord, that we may hold, take hold on that eternal life, Lord, when that time comes, Lord. Help us today, God, to be the men, Lord, and the women, the God, and the people you've called, Lord, to fight in this big fight, this war, Lord, that we fight every day, Lord, thank God. I know you're the one that's actually winning the battle, Lord. You're the one that gives us the victory, Lord. Lord, I believe you want us to show up, Lord, for the battle, Lord. I want you want us to show up, Lord, for the fight, Lord, thank God. Help us with our prayer life, Lord, that it will be seasoned, Lord, and better than it's ever been, Lord. Help us with our reading life, Lord, that we'll read more, Lord, and dig deeper into the Word of God, Lord, to find something to give to somebody to help them, even to help ourselves today, God. Help us, Lord, in our churches, God, when we come out, Lord, wherever we may go. Lord, and we'll take joy with us, Lord, today, God, and we'll help the people, Lord, to seek after you, Lord. Lord, and we'll instruct, Lord, they God, ourselves first before we ever try to instruct others, Lord, they God. Help our hearts, Lord, to be ready, Lord, to be willing, Lord, to do your will, Lord, at all times, today, God. Help us, Lord, in this land, Lord, where hearts of men are failing them every day, Lord, when the things they see, it's coming, Lord. For the trouble that's coming to our land, Lord, it's great, Lord, but we don't have to have a fainting heart, Lord. Lord, we can have a heart, Lord, that can reach out, Lord, to help, Lord, a God, and be strong, Lord, and be faithful, Lord. Lord, in our day and in our time and in our hour, Lord, help Brother Anthony, Lord, bless him in his ministry, Lord, a God, save his children, Lord, a God, that needs to be saved, Lord. And God, you know their hearts, you know what they need, Lord, and I know his heart is. His desire is for them to be saved. And I know your desire is for them to be saved, Lord. God, I pray you'll work on them, put people in their pathway, Lord. It'll be good to them, Lord, and a show of grace and mercy, God. And Lord, help our lost loved ones, Lord. Help someone, Lord, to be put in their pathway, Lord. And Lord, that you might show them grace, Lord, and mercy, God, that they might see your love for them, Lord, they might turn to you, Lord. And Lord, help us to be in someone's pathway, Lord, and send it to a devil's hell, Lord. And let us show grace unto them, Lord, and mercy, God, and help us, God, Lord, be the light that you sent us out to be, Lord. Lord, we can't be it without you, Lord. Lord, we can't be that light without your spirit, Lord, inside of us, God. Lord, let your spirit, Lord, get greater in us, Lord, stronger in our hearts, Lord. Lord, let us pursue you, Lord. Lord, like the heart that paineth out of the water brook, Lord, the psalmist said, so paineth my soul out of thee, O God. Lord, let our heart paineth out of you, Lord. Let our heart paint it out you, Lord. Let it break for you, Lord. Let our heart long after you, Lord. Let our heart desire you, Lord, more than the food that's on our table, Lord. Let our hearts, Lord, desire, Lord, to be in your presence, Lord. And, Lord, not use, Lord, the, Lord, the cross as a relic, Lord, but use it, Lord, as a marker, Lord, for our salvation, God. And let us, Lord, always trust in the pit and our hope in you, Lord, that you'll be there.
this week, Lord, it's all of us, Lord, and they're so heartbroken, Lord, and their hearts are so heavy, Lord. Lord, when you say, Lord,